It is Monday, May 3rd, and I just finished my first official day at my first legal job. A lot has been happening. We finished our first year of law school last week. I had my last exam on Monday, April 26th, and then I should have had a week off before I started work today, but I had a final paper due for one of my classes in place of a final paper. So I decided to just take it one day at a time and, and not rush it because what else was I going to do in a, in a pandemic with a stay at home order here in Ontario? I submitted it on Friday, so I officially finished 1L this past Friday. I actually spent the weekend going out. I went for a few walks, went to Farm Boy for the first time, went to H Mart for the first time, got some really, really good food. Can't believe I'm at a point where going to grocery stores is what excites me now, but I guess that's what happens when you're adulting. Okay, so I'm super excited about my summer job and what I'm going to be doing for the next four months. So I thought I would share in case it interests you at all to know what a 1L summer job entails or what it kind of looks like. I was fortunate enough to secure this position with a startup, which I'm really, really excited about because I have a lot of interests with the intersection of law and technology and just innovation in general. The startup I'm working for this summer is called Hopin Technologies. They are an amazing company. So I'll basically just be researching a lot of legislation, relevant policies and regulations that will impact this project that they're working on with respect to a smart city and ensuring that the company is staying compliant and just kind of figuring out how this is going to be viable and, and, and how the company can pursue this project. Yeah, great first day. It was a lot of just meeting everybody and getting onboarded. So the real work really begins tomorrow. We got off a little bit early today, so I'm going to spend the next few hours still kind of preparing for meetings I have tomorrow and just want to kind of get prepared and get ready because a, I'm nervous and B, I'm excited. So <laughs> mixing those energies together, just want to be productive with it. So I think in this vlog, you'll see kind of what it's been like wrapping up my first year of law school and what this first week of my work routine, summer routine is going to look like. So stay tuned. of my bed my phone fell over here so that's one way to make sure I get up in the morning <laughs> yeah today is day two of work this is my outfit for the day It is 10 40 p.m. Just showered, finished cleaning up my apartment. Dinner is ready. Let me know if this is the weirdest student dinner you've ever seen or not. Meatballs, pea shoots, and I used uh, a brioche bun and put garlic spread and cheese in it and just threw pea shoots on top. <laughs> As a policy and regulation specialist at Hopin this summer requires a significant amount of legal research, which is why Quick Law is perfect for me. 
Quick Law is a legal research platform created by LexisNexis, and it holds a variety of features that will help make your legal research so much more efficient. Key features of Quick Law include summaries, search term maps, my personal favorite, and Halsbury's Laws of Canada. I can search up anything from case law to law reviews and journal articles to other secondary materials to legislation and statutes. Not only is Quick Law useful as a student while researching for your assignments and for classes, but I can now see how useful it is in the actual workplace and when you're practicing law. Good <coughs> Whoa, what was that? I think I broke my camera flip function. It's not working. Now Thursday, today's going to be a busy day. It means not being afraid to try and explore new things like technology, different frameworks, new business models that will change the practice of law. We did it guys. I think this is actually a good point while well, I'm sitting here in my blanket all cozied up <laughs> to quickly just say and make a note about this last year. It has been an absolute crazy past year or so for everyone, I know. I never imagined, honestly, A, that I would ever get into law school, let alone B, be doing it or be doing my first year completely online and in the middle of a global pandemic. And as hard as this first year of law school was, and trust me, it was hard. <laughs> it was probably the hardest thing I have ever had to do up until this point, 100%. But as hard as it was and as many obstacles as there were to get to where I am now, having just finished my first year of law school. I am so incredibly grateful to be where I am, to be on the path that I'm on. I'm really looking forward to the next two years and to start diving deeper into you know, specialized courses and getting into working more closely with the types of law I'm going to be working with once I graduate and figuring out the type of lawyer I'm going to be. Yeah, we did it. We, we finished our first year and we survived. <laughs>